Yes, Honorable Speaker, I want to refer you to the provisions of Article 93, sub Article 2 of the Constitution, very, very briefly. And if you allow me, I'll read. The National Assembly and the Senate shall perform their respective functions in accordance with the Constitution. Honorable Speaker, uh, if you go further to Article 108, 108, Honorable Speaker of the Constitution, especially 108, Sabbatical 1, where it clearly provides that there shall be a leader of the majority party and a leader of the minority party. It goes further at Sabbatical 3, Honorable Speaker, to say that the leader of the minority party shall be the person who is the leader in the National Assembly of the second largest party or coalition of parties. But finally, at Sabbatical 4, it provides the order of precedence in the National Assembly, which is obvious, Honorable Speaker. It's the Speaker, the leader of majority, and the leader of minority. Honorable Speaker, pass one to these provisions. The Parliamentary Service Commission has proceeded to facilitate these offices and particularly the office of the leader of the minority party, which I am privileged to occupy as we speak, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, Honorable Speaker, part of the facilitation of that office is the enabling of the office to hire officers. As a matter of fact, the Commission has facilitated my office to hire officers. In fact, it has hired for me officers to serve in the office of the leader of the minority party to enable that office to perform its functions effectively, Honorable Speaker. And I believe that is the case with the office of the leader of the majority party and other offices in the National Assembly. Honorable Speaker, one of the officers in my office is the person the holding the office of the policy analyst. Honorable Speaker, the policy analyst in the office of the leader of minority party plays a very, very crucial role in enabling the holder of that office to perform his work. Honorable Speaker, on the eve of today's sitting, specifically this morning, Honorable Speaker, at 2.20 a.m. this morning, I was called by the policy analyst in the office of the minority leader, one Gabriel Owiti Oguda. Gabriel Owiti Oguda, that is the policy analyst in the office of the leader of minority. He called me this morning under distress that there, are, there were people, in fact, he called them cops. I think cops means policemen. At his gate, breaking into his compound, the issues I'm raising are so serious that I, would, I want to request my brother Pukose to uh, be patient. Honorable Speaker, Mr. Gabriel Oguda called me at 2.20 a.m. this morning informing me that there are people at his gate who were breaking into his compound. No sooner had he called me, Honorable Speaker, I mobilized lawyers, lawyers to try and attend to his situation. But within no minute, Honorable Speaker, <clears throat> members, order. I need to hear. Honorable Speaker, 10 minutes after Mr. Oguda called me, my phone calls were jammed. I was unable to call nor to receive calls until about 6.30 this morning. Honorable Speaker, in the ensuing period, these persons actually broke the gate of Honorable Guda's compound, went further to break his door, and abducted him. Up to this moment, I'm speaking here, we do not know the whereabouts of Mr. Oguda. 
who is an officer in the office of the leader of the minority party, an officer who is supposed to make our work possible. Happening on the eve of this very special day, Honorable Speaker, we don't take it lightly. And I want to explain further, Honorable Speaker. The persons who abducted Mr. Oguda are not known, even though in his phone call to me at 2.20 a.m., he, he indicated they were policemen. We have looked in all police stations in Nairobi and the environs. He is nowhere to be seen. We don't know where they kill him or they are holding him in communicado somewhere. Honorable Speaker, we do not know. Honorable Speaker, Article 29 of the Constitution of the Republic of Kenya protects the right to freedom of every Kenyan citizen. Indeed, even the rights of arrested persons are protected in the Constitution at Article 49, Honorable Speaker. As a matter of fact, nobody is supposed to be arrested without being informed as to why he is being arrested. The Constitution goes further to provide for rights of detained persons. If you are arrested for whatever reason and you are detained, you have got a right to access the services of advocates or lawyers. Up to this morning, up to this moment I'm speaking, the lawyers that I was able to assemble have not been able to access Mr. Oguda, wherever he is. So what am I saying? What I'm saying, Honorable Speaker, is that this cannot be treated as business as usual. It is the same manner somebody or people can abduct officers assigned to the office of the Speaker. That would be an affront to the independence of the institution of Parliament, Honorable Speaker. Parliament is an independent institution, and this House is not complete without one side of the House. This House is only complete with the, with the majority you side and the points. minority side. Honorable yes. Speaker, before I conclude, let me say this. Some of us have walked this journey, and you know. These are not things that are new to us. But it will be unfortunate if this country were to regress to the dark old days, which we, are, which, we are, which we have been accustomed to, and some of us have been victims of. Honorable Speaker, the, a trend is now emerging of abductions of people in this country by people who we, don't, we do not know. I am being told this morning from some sources that there is a unit already, being, being already established in the police service, and that unit is reporting to nobody. They are reporting to nobody. They are a law unto themselves. He is on a point they of are order. abducting Kenyans. Wind up. I am on a point of order. Wind up. <coughs> what is, what is itching, is Honorable Sirma? Order, Honorable Members. Order. Order. So can I allow him to prosecute my case? He seems to know more. I'm no, hearing no what... Go on, I'm hearing what you are saying. Yeah, this is... Uh, Clark, Honor, you can Honorable improve Speaker. the sound system. Honorable Speaker, I was in this house. I was in this house in the 12th Parliament when members, especially some of them sitting that side, were crying here. Were crying here. For over these abductions. I can tell you, Honorable Speaker, the shoe could be on the other side of the foot. But these are the same, same things, Honorable Speaker. What is good for the goose must certainly be good for the Ganda. Thank I you. can tell you. And therefore, Finish I, up. will I be right, Honorable Speaker, to, to request you that before we proceed, before we proceed, you use your powers under the Constitution to compel whoever has abducted the officer in, in the office of the leader of minority to be produced before we can proceed. Otherwise, this House will continue to be under siege and we cannot operate under intimidation. Personally, you can't... You've made me. a point. Thank you. <laughs> Minority.